Today on Garage Guru TV, we'll take a look at the Performance Electronics Bluetooth Wideband O2 Controller Kit. Hey, this is DJ Martin and welcome to Garage Guru TV. Knowing the vitals of the performance engine and your daily driver all the way up to your race car is important to keep you either going down the road or winning on race day. And the most important vital is your air fuel ratio. That's where the Performance Electronics Bluetooth Wideband O2 Controller Kit comes into its own. Performance Electronics out of Cincinnati, Ohio designs, engineers, and manufactures sensors, controller kits, and ECUs for the motorsport and aftermarket industries. Let's take a look at all the great products Performance Electronics has to offer. On Performance Electronics website, pe-ltd.com, you can see that their expertise stretches beyond the automotive market into the unmanned vehicle sector. With that being said, Performance Electronics products are a part of countless winning racing teams in numerous different types of motorsport. PE offers actuators, sensors, displays, harnesses, connectors, and many other electronics-related products that will help you win on race day. Under sensors, you will see the Bluetooth Wideband O2 controller kit we will be installing today along with the instructions. On top of these components, Performance Electronics offers a range of motorsports-grade ECUs that will work on both two- and four-stroke engines from one to eight cylinders. You can choose a waterproof ECU and several of their ECUs feature variable cam control, traction control, boost control, flat shift gear control, and many other premium features. Let's learn a little bit more about why a wideband O2 sensor is so important in a performance engine application. What an O2 sensor is in general is just a sniffer that goes inside your exhaust pipe that measures the parts of air to parts of fuel. And there are two types of O2 sensors. There's the wideband, like what we have here, and the narrowband O2 sensor. Narrowband O2 sensors are commonly found on all OEM fuel-injected EFI vehicles. On our all-wheel drive Model A, we have four of them, actually. But the wideband O2 sensor can do a better job than all four of those combined because it reads a wider spectrum of air-fuel ratios, where a narrowband sensor would only read anywhere from about 14.5 to 14.9 AFR. A wideband O2 sensor can read from 10 sometimes into the 20s up in there. And why that's important is on a high performance engine application, you usually want to target an air fuel ratio more in the 12.5 to 12.7 range, which means richer, which means more fuel. And especially if you start getting into methanol and ethanol type fuels like E85, you're going to be targeting a much lower AFR than that. The best way to determine if you have a wideband or a narrowband O2 sensor in your vehicle is to check how many wires are coming out of your O2 sensors. If it's four wires, it's a narrowband O2 sensor, and if it's six wires, you're lucky, you already have wideband O2 sensor. The Performance Electronics Bluetooth Wideband O2 Controller Kit is a game changer. When you need to know the vital information on your air fuel ratios, but don't want to cut up your dash for an ugly gauge or fit a standalone ECU, this is the ticket. This controller connects via Bluetooth to Android or iOS devices through the PE Wideband app and will then display your air fuel ratio or lambda in different fuel scales. The kit does include a 0 to 5 volt signal output as well as a CAN connection. So this is our Factory 5 Mark IV Cobra that, funny enough, can be seen in every intro and outro of every episode of Garage Guru TV, but we've never done an episode featuring a product on it until today. This Cobra features a Ford 302 small block engine. It's carbureted. It has about 375 horsepower, so it's a healthy small block. Then it has a T5 transmission, and it's painted in this beautiful Audi gray. It was tuned several years ago when it was first built by JBA Speed Shop here in San Diego, California and it's been running great ever since. But just recently in the last couple of weeks, we noticed a little bit of a stumble off idle when you really go and mash the gas. So we want to see if the Performance Electronics Bluetooth Wideband O2 controller kit can catch what's going on and maybe we could diagnose it and fix something with the carburetor. So let's take a look at how we're going to install it into our Factory 5 Mark IV Cobra. 
In order to install the Performance Electronics Wideband O2 kit into your vehicle, you'll need an O2 sensor bun welded into your exhaust after your collector. All an O2 sensor bung is is a, is a bung that gets welded into your exhaust that has the threads for the O2 sensors. You can weld it in yourself if you're a competent welder, or you can have a muffler shop welded in for you. It won't be that expensive. Performance Electronics includes a mild steel bung with their kit, but if you have a stainless steel exhaust, you can get a stainless one, and if you have a titanium exhaust, you can get a titanium one as well. The Performance Electronics Wideband O2 kit uses a three or two wire hookup depending on how you're gonna use this in your vehicle. If you don't have an aftermarket ECU or a wideband gauge in your vehicle, you just do the two wire hookup, which is just 12 volt switched power and chassis ground. If you have an aftermarket ECU or a wideband O2 gauge, this pink wire is gonna be your friend. This is a zero to five volt uh, signal out, which will send it to your ECU or your gauge so that it reads on the dash. For our application, we're just going to be using the Bluetooth connectability of this kit on our phone to read the air fuel ratio. So we're just going to put a nut on the pink wire since it won't be used. We're just going to attach our 12 volt switched wire to our ignition coil and the ground to ground. And then we're going to mount the box right here onto a flat part in the engine bay and then we just thread in our O2 sensor into an already existing, which we were happy to find, a sensor bung in the mid pipes of our Factory 5 Mark IV Cobra. Then we'll turn it on, set it all up with the Bluetooth, and we'll see how it looks. First, we will soak the O2 sensor bung plug with penetrating fluid and let it soak in for a few minutes. With the proper socket and ratchet, remove the bung plug. You may need a breaker bar or an impact gun. It's a good idea to clean the threads of the bung with an O2 sensor chase tool. Apply anti-seize to the threads of the O2 sensor bung. There should already be anti-seize on the O2 sensor. Start by threading the sensor in by hand. Then, with a 22 mm wrench, snug it down. Since this kit will be used on a wide range of vehicles in our fleet, we opted to mount the controller box with industrial grade Velcro. You can mount the box with either M5 or 1024 bolts as well. Just make sure the box is mounted in a dry area away from extreme heat sources. Connect the connector from the O2 sensor to the controller box. With the red wire connected to switch 12 volt and the black wire connected to a good ground, you are ready to start up the PE wideband controller and sync your device. When the red LED on the controller blinks rapidly, this means that the O2 sensor is heating up. Once the red blinking slows to once per second, you may now open the PE Wideband app on your device. Select Next. Then select the sensor to connect to. It will be named Lambda. Once you reach the screen, press and hold the button on the controller box until it turns blue. We are reading a very lean ratio at the moment because the car is not on. But once the Cobra roars to life, we get awesome readings from our PE Wideband O2 controller kit and we are ready to rock. We just finished testing out the Performance Electronics Bluetooth Wideband O2 controller kit on our Factory 5 Cobra and it works like a treat. It's awesome to know the AFR while we're driving it around and it'll serve invaluable down the line when we're on the dyno tuning it. It turns out that all we had were some dirty bowls in the carburetor from the sitting for a while so we just cleaned those out and it runs awesome now. If you want to see what Performance Electronics has for your vehicle, check out pe-ltv.com. Thank you for tuning in to Garage Guru TV. I'm going to go take this out for a test drive, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, 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 hey. I'm down here. Hey, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa.